What's going on, cruise fans? Welcome to Ramsey Today for episode 8 of my solo cruise on board the Norwegian getaway. Today I'll take you to the buffet for lunch, but my focus is on this evening. Sid Norman's Poorhouse is doing prom night. We'll check out the musical Million Dollar Quartet. Maybe hop into Howl at the Moon one more time. And I also don't plan on going to bed before one last visit at Oceans. By the end of this vlog, we should disembark the ship. So if you want to see how that works, stick around. But the main event is the entertainment. To me, NCL rules the ocean when it comes to entertainers, singers, musicians, and so on. But you can be the judge of that. We're about to arrive in Livorno, Italy, the final port on this 10-day Mediterranean cruise round trip from Rome. But Rome isn't until tomorrow, so we have 24 more hours to enjoy the ship. And the ship is where I will be. Another port in Italy, so if you have been watching the previous vlogs, you already know I'm staying on board because they don't allow cruise ship passengers on land on their own. Unless you're leaving the ship like we're doing tomorrow, or unless you fly here, or drive, or walk, or by train, or by ferry boat. I guess fully vaccinated cruises are bad something like that. Welcome to Bram Complaints today. I have to get it out of my system. And I will, at some point. Just give me some time. Once again, welcome to room 5226 on board the Norwegian getaway. You've noticed all the tour buses and I've just found out that all today's tours are sold out. I'm sure NCL isn't complaining about Italy's laws and making some good money out of selling tours. And I can't blame them for doing so, times have been rough on, on everyone. I'm pretty sure tour prices have gone up here. I guess they're worth what people are willing to pay. It's a buyer's market. But no tour for me today. I'll use my time to relax and enjoy the last bits of sunshine before I go home tomorrow. I also need to get organized and get packing. Let's do lunch in the uh, in the buffet. See what's out there. Let's do this. Hi, how are you? No, that's okay. Thank you. Just looking around first. Thank you. No worries. That's locked. Hey, good, how are you? Get the the best uh, the best waiter. I can touch. Yes sir. Number one here. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the Garden Cafe. I would love to give it some sort of rating, but I think it's important on what you compare it to. <laughs> I've been to all-inclusive resorts, for instance in Europe and Turkey, and compared to those, it's a lot better. But when I think about the high-end buffets in Las Vegas, okay, this is poor. But a buffet at, let's say, Caesars Palace Las Vegas will set you back $50. 
and here it's included. Also, I don't go to the buffet to have a full dining experience. For me, it's about just getting a plate of food and go. And with that in mind, I've never been disappointed on the NCL getaway. Food was always hot and tasty. If you really need a rating, I'd say 3.5 out of 5. On several occasions, I found myself going back for more. So some items were above that rating. Compared to other cruise lines, personally, I would rate it above Carnival and MSC, but below Princess and Holland America. Feel free to agree or disagree in the comments below. All reviews are personal experience, so there's no right and wrong. Just different opinions. Share your thoughts. I always reply. Hi, some uh, mash, please. Thank you, and some uh, Thank you. white beer or ragu. Thank you. Let's go collaborate, bro. What's up? Let's go collaborate. Yeah. Please support the channel Ramsey, right? Ramsey is the day. Don't forget like, comment, subscribe. Football. There you go. We welcome to Norwegian Gateway. I'll use that. <laughs> I know it's hard for you guys. Alright, uh, support to support, yeah? I tried this. You know, Perfect. I'm happy to try it. Go ahead. Thank you. I said it before, but I'll say it again. The crew is amazing. They've been on the ship for months now and COVID is not allowing them on land anywhere. And don't forget 12 hour shifts, no days off. I'll take it slow this afternoon and charge my camera batteries for tonight. I'll charge myself in the meantime and do nothing. Maybe take a nap or hang out by the pool but nothing really important, and that's how I like it, sometimes. Let's uh, fast forward to what this vlog is all about. The entertainment on board the Norwegian getaway. It's prom night at Sid Norman's poor house, so turn up the volume and join my excitement, please. Right after this. Something's missing from out here. Not something, someone. Oh, yeah. Where? Roxy! I am not coming out there, guys. You gotta come out of here. Listen, man, I look like a piece of broccoli. Oh, Everybody's gotta eat their greens, huh? Oh, God. Mm. Oh, man. Roxy, it looks beautiful! I'm pretty till tired of stepmom on Christmas. <laughs> hey, let's do some prom! Yeah! <laughs> That's right, including vegetable themed dresses and powder blue tuxedos. So we're gonna do what we do every night. And we're gonna do a little, little toast here. Tonight, we toast to alcohol. Because the more you drink, the less you gotta wear that mask. So sit. And 
Noah? Uh, what? Did you go to prom? Uh, kind of. Go on. Uh, it's, it's, we don't have to get into it. It's fun. I feel okay. like we do have to get into it. Leave it where it is. Uh, does everyone want to hear Noah's prom story? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta give the people what they want. Okay. Yeah, I had my prom in the year 2020. Yeah, yeah, the number of the beast. You guys remember. So, man. I know this stuff isn't for everybody, and even for me, most of the songs they play will not make my playlist. But when it comes to performing, I don't care about genre, style, brand, make or model. I get high on great musicians, singers and entertainers overall. And these guys know what they're doing, and they're doing it extremely well. Every single one of this 8-piece band is super talented. Meet Noah, the bass player.
Next up is the musical Million Dollar Quartet and the story is set around this picture. The day that Elvis Presley, Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash and an up-and-coming Jerry Lee Lewis met at Sun Studios in Memphis December 4th, 1956. I'll share a 90 second clip of the 90 minute show. This is about Jerry Lee Lewis being a pain in the ass. Hey, everybody, let's, uh, let's do that Mashbox song again. The tempo's fine, but call a man, bring up that chop on two and four. place won't be jumping this time of night at the end of the cruise, but there's always something going on. Let him think of a song and he'll come up here and let me know. But you only got about two or three songs to figure out. That's all I'm saying. You hear me? And you need to come a little closer, but I know you sit at the table with your drink on. What? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. You want to do that or she going to do that? Uh, you want to do it? I can follow you, I think. <laughs> What's the original key to that? Yeah, the other guy as well. Do you know it better than me? Yeah. I don't know what key it I might struggle with the lyrics, so you got to support me, is that okay? Hold on. Okay, you don't know what key you singing? Is that key? It is. I've been so many places Woo! in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs. I played some bad rhymes. Acted out my life on stages. Ten thousand people watching. Be alone now. Singing the song to you. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. I treated you all kindly, darling. Can't you see? There's no one more important to me, baby. Can't you see through me? We alone now. I'm singing this song to you. This is improvisation all the way. Figuring out what key to play it in, a tablet to help them out with the lyrics, and a guest singer might just jump in. I was skeptical when he said Donny Hathaway, because I'm a big fan, but he pulled it off. This is the instrumental. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, who 
who's hungry. Ten past midnight. My alarm clock is set for six a.m. So that means I'll probably get up at seven and push uh, snooze five or six times, and then it's time to to go home. Because this cruise has reached his end. The Norwegian getaway was probably one of the best ships I have ever been on. And level of entertainment, fun, excitement, food, uh, itinerary, everything was uh, pretty, pretty unforgettable. So I normally don't talk to you this late at night because by then normally and tonight is no exception <coughs> I had a little bit too much to drink So guys this is where I'm gonna end this vlog series and I wanted to take the time and uh, express my appreciation uh, to all of you that has been uh, following my vlogs all this time and subscribing and you know you, you guys press the like button leave a comment I really 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 appreciate it it's um, it's hard to understand if you don't make vlogs yourself but the feeling is 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 it's hard to it's hard to explain so I, I won't even try but um, what I'm trying to say is uh, thank you so much guys and these vlogs will continue because I'm liking the ship and I'll be back to this ship sooner rather than later the Norwegian getaway and Bram sees the day will meet again Wuf een loiter. Yes, I had to cut myself off there. 
I'm known to get slightly emotional when I have a couple of adult beverages in me. Well, let me clarify. During this cruise, my channel had reached 1,000 subscribers and 50,000 views. Not even in my wildest dreams did I expect to reach those numbers so quickly. And that's thanks to you. Because it wouldn't be much of a YouTube channel without you watching the content. So once again, thank you all. And yes, I did mean what I said about the getaway vlogs continuing. I'll get back to that after this vlog. The Norwegian getaway has reached Rome. Time to get breakfast and get off the ship. Today is disembarkation day. Please proceed to deck 7 forward to be guided by our ship staff to the gangway. Please remember to have your guest key card with you as you exit your vessel. Once again, at this time, we have already called all guests with yellow, red, light blue 1, orange, light blue 2, pink, purple 1, purple 2, green, gray, and all those guests carrying their own luggage off the vessel, you may now proceed to deck 7 forward to be guided by our ship staff to the gangway. We do hope that you have enjoyed your time on board Norwegian Getaway with some amazing ports of call, great food, memorable entertainment, and hopefully left you with an experience to remember for this cruise vacation. On behalf of Captain Luigi, General Manager Mario, and all the officers, we thank you for sailing with Norwegian Getaway and we wish you a safe and pleasant journey home. And just like that, folks, this cruise is over. Time to fly home and get back to work. I booked the same bus transportation back to the airport, but first I need to pick up my luggage. If you're new to cruising, this was picked up last night. I left it outside my room by 11 p.m., so all I need to carry around this morning is a small bag with some tutorial trees and some clothes. When I get to the airport, I'll just pop that bag in my suitcase and ready to check in. Easy. I was giving brown colored luggage tags, so I just need to find the brown colored sign. Pretty straightforward. Here he is, my most loyal travel companion. Now all I have to do is find my way back to the bus, back to the airport, and that's that. But this is not a goodbye, it's a see you soon. The next cruise on the Norwegian getaway is already booked. This time out of Miami and six close friends are joining my wife and I for the first ever cruise. I call it same ship different way. I'm excited to see how our friends will experience their first cruise and also look forward to see how the cruise in general will be different for myself. Obviously it's a very different destination but what are the changes in regulations, boarding process, crowds and so on? Well, I can already tell you, it's a lot, way more than what you would expect. If you want to stay up to date with more cruise vlogs, make sure to subscribe and get notified as soon as new videos come online. For now, I'll leave you with a sneak peek of what's to come. As always, thanks for watching, next time on Bram Sees the Day. 70s porn stars stash music porn stash music porn stash music <laughs>
wrong, but this ain't great syrup. And it is a special occasion. It's always a special occasion in our case. Every night is a party night. Doing something right when you're uh, outside drinking in the dark, wearing your sunglasses. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out a previous video by clicking the one on the left or if you want to see the full story from check-in to check-out, the link on the right will do just that.